What childhood experiences have been most fundamental to shaping who you are today? The, the common theme of my childhood was moving. By the time I was 25, I'd, I lived in nine different cities. I think that certainly sh shaped my childhood both good and bad. Um, I certainly struggled having an Israeli name in, in America. And uh, if you didn't know this, kids can be cruel. <laughs> so um, I, think, I, I think I was naturally on the, on the shy side, but certainly having a difficult name to pronounce um, and being the new kid uh, made me probably more shy than I would have been. But, um, you know, you're, you're put in that situation where you're the new kid, you're moving around and, and you have to, you know, make friends to survive. So you learn how to do it. So I, I think it had both positive and negative elements. Yeah, well, I bet you, you went by Ryan. When did you, when did you make that change from you off to Ryan? And then when did you change back? Well, um, it was my dad's idea, actually, when I went to college, because he figured it was a new start. Um, and why not go? And, and, and you meet so many people that you only encounter once. So why, why kind of have that daily struggle where I say my name and people say, what? It, Yo, up, what? Right. And, and it's almost kind of, I guess, it, he saw it as a waste of time, you know? Um, go by a different name and, and the people who you get to know better, you can eventually explain, like, I'm going by my, my middle name. So, um, but it, I found it was an experiment I, I didn't like. I mean, yeah. imagine growing up 18 years being called one thing and then being called something else. It it, it didn't work. And, and, and now I've gotten to the point where, like, I, I actually really love my name. Um, and... And actually, and, and a lot of people note, notice it for being unusual, um, but certainly respond to it a lot more positively than, <laughs> than kids did. <laughs>